Still for the Wildcats at times. As Hartman gets her first touch of the game, she'll go to Galernick. Now for three from the left corner, and she's got it. Verdi Galernick hits her second three of the ball game. Just the uh, just the tenth made field goal of the day for Lewis. Hartman with the jump shot, and she knocks it through. The first year for Northwestern putting on a show and replacing the three-point shooting of Veronica Burton. Yeah, and it doesn't look like she's forcing up these shots either. These, got, these shots are coming naturally within the offense, and she's, and she's taking her chances with no hesitation. As Scheid finds herself wide open, no good. Burton with the offensive rebound. Burton out to Hartman, who will shoot and hit. Leia Hartman. Kayla Rainey now has it. She's looking for her first collegiate bucket. Rainey drives left, passes it into the corner. Hartman for three. Bang! That is Leia Hartman's first career three-pointer in a Northwestern uniform. Rainey cross court to Hartman. Hartman to Rainey. Gonna have to pull. And it's good. Kayla Rainey with a smile. She floats a pass to Courtney Shaw on the right wing. She's swarmed by two Dartmouth defense defenders. Pass inside to Leah Hartman who lays it up and in. Nice job there by Leah Hartman. Left. And that's a tough bucket from Leah Hartman. And you can just see how supportive the bench and the starting five are. In the inside, there's a touch there for Wolf, who gets the two, but she's been quiet here today. Those are her first points of the game. Another Spartan turnover, so now we're back in the northwestern end with 45 seconds to go, 21 on the shot clock. There's a triple. How the students who are packing the place at the end of last season and just that kind of support and excitement about the student athletes in there. Northwestern with the second chance. And here's a wide open look for Hartman and she knocks it down. The third three point make for Northwestern. Eastern Kentucky is up to 14 field goals attempted, only five made. A steal from Hartman. Leah Hartman ahead of the pack. She tries to take it herself. Yes. Going on. She's had Coriana Evans right above the free throw line uh, where you need to put someone against this blizzard zone in order to get the elbows open and draw defenders to the middle. Uh, but the guards have to do a much better job of pressuring the ball handlers. It's not going to get any easier in the Big Ten. you got to go on the road up to Wisconsin. And... It'll be a factor in this thing. You know, that off the bounce. What you're seeing here, this matchup, Michigan. And they they have that six second differential with the shot clock. They let it wind all the way down, and there's Hartman. Nice production off the bench. The fourth three point make is a team here for Northwestern. They put up 48 points so far in the first half, looking for more, just a little bit short for Hartman's attempt. Some of the bubble teams play when the NBA and the WNBA kind of got things going in the summer on the basketball side. You continue to watch football games and you can hear more of the play calling. Wisconsin will be ready. They've got a lot of young players, so it's just good experience for them. Inside, there's the freshman Anna Morris. You can see the bench cheering hard for that bucket. No good, big rebound from Leah Hartman. Bailey Lutz and Jada McLeod hitting the deck. Here's Adam Musayo underneath the basket. Her points go in, she's up to four. Northwestern now hits 70 points in the game. And the Gauchos turn it over, picked up by Rainey. Rainey to Hartman, Hartman right-handed lay. It's good, you can hear the crowd cheering for her as she gets her first points. The best three-point shooter on this Delaware team at 32%. Mott deep post, great catch off the Hartman feed and she finishes. She fouled out early against Wisconsin. But overall played a great game as Hartman steps into a three and nails it. And suddenly the Wildcats are getting hot from beyond the arc on getting inside and moving in transition so as to counteract that Blizzard defense. If you can't set up the Blizzard, it can't work against you. And that transition offense has had mixed success as Daly can't hit from the free throw line. Tough board from Hartman, gets the putback. And Delaware a chance now to cut into this 14 point Northwestern lead. Hartman steals the pass and is out on the break. Hartman versus Smalls, crosses to the right side, misses the gimme. Trying to probably conserve some bodies with those injuries. 
Hartman hits another three. And Leia Hartman is in double figures for the first time this season. Playing against that Delaware team last year, they went 16-2 and two in conference play, won 24 games overall. Their demeanor last year. Back up to Burton, who's looking around, finds Hartman, who, as mentioned, just came back into the game. Goes to Walsh in the post, and she, with a turnaround jumper, sinks it. End of the quarter, 35 seconds left. And now Hartman takes a three, and she connects. Leia Hartman comes back from injury, shooting an 82.6% clip. And now Leia Hartman brings it into Kaylee Walsh, who looks to do something in the post, and she lays it in. Kaylee Walsh with her second basket of the game. To Rainey, wanted to go to the corner because Burton was there, but nonetheless, it's Walsh again. Here's her jumper, good. Kaylee Walsh coming into her own, and Northwestern finally takes the lead. Northwestern going a little bit of a mini run here, 6-0 over the past minute and a half. Leia Hartman for three, it's good! Make it 9-0. Out at the top, and now Walsh had a three, she didn't want it. Burton working against Clinton, got the screen from Walsh, kick, Hartman triple, that's good! I love the energy that she brings to the offense, but also on the defensive side. As there you go, Hartman jumped in the right passing here. lane, oh. oh, and then took a hard fall on top of the ball. Satterwhite somehow kept it alive. 4% from the field. The offensive struggles continue so far, but Daly free on the inbound, and she cans the six-footer. That was a great action there for Northwestern. Where will the offense come from with Veronica Burton out? Hartman contested three. That goes! Leia Hartman is scorching from the outside, and she's got her second three of the game. Holmes at the top, and not looking for the pass was Wood. Easy steal for Ade Musayo. Pass ahead for Hartman, and she gets the bucket on the other end. And now Temple, who is shooting 24% from three coming into this game, has a great pass from Hartman to Mott in the finish. I think it's giving them a really great look as we see Leah Hartman get another steal. Burton with a deflection again, and this is going to be an all, no, they count the basket. Temple thinks it's an offensive foul. The call was an and one. I think Hartman also thought it was an offensive foul. Northwestern still without a field goal in the last 345. Daly, that's a deep two. She has been phenomenal offensively in this game. That's Harris with three to shoot. No good. Walsh with the rebound. Four rebounds for Kaylee Walsh. Matching the amount of points, Leia Hartman gets the layup. Another missed three-pointer, and it's Burton working. They got numbers, Hartman again in contact, but gets another layup. And Northwestern slowly getting themselves back in, and they're finding their footing. Really solid balanced performance from the Buckeyes tonight. Those three combined with 23 points, and a beautiful layup again from Leia Hartman. She's got six. Mistake on the inbound. Four on two for Rutgers if they go quickly. Petrie has it taken by Hartman. She was out of control. Five for Petrie to create from the outside. Blocked by Burton, just took it away. Burton is playing volleyball out here. Someone sign her up for the volleyball team. Kick out for Hartman and it goes. Been on fire and her defense is really having these Wildcats roll. Don't go anywhere. Second half coming up next on Big Ten Plus. Shaw clears a board. Burton finds an open Hartman and another three goes down on defense and they're using that defensive effort and I wouldn't say Rutgers has changed a ton I'd say Northwestern's made more mistakes Hartman nice pull up too. Petrie three for four from three today trying to find space Hartman all over her defensively and a whistle the ball I think hit the line and it's out of bounds to Northwestern those are the dead ball ones that are okay with your defense can set up but pick sixes like that letting the team get out in transition is never what you want to do and Hartman knocks down the triple does not have numbers tried to slow it up and it's poked away ball is loose Walsh had it got it knocked away but Brown comes up with it for Northwestern three on one for the Wildcats bounce pass Hartman lays it in to get some space and get the bucket she's got 16 Veronica Burton Gets it over to Rainey, to the corner. Hartman for three, that's good. The reason Michigan State started that third quarter so well was due to that X3. Burton step back triple, doesn't fall, but an offensive rebound from Hartman. Puts it up off the glass and in. 
It was a nifty double clutch kind of finish too. So Hagen starts the other way. Penn State clearly trying to get out and run against Northwestern. This time Shaw got back and forced the turnover. Two on two for Burton all the way, plus the foul. Camden already came into the game. Brigham is joined by Burke. Another foul line jumper for Hartman won't go. Tries again, and she gets it. Brown on the right wing. Burton, open corner three for Hartman. That goes. Leia Hartman has made a living in the three-point line so far this season. It make them pay. Hartman with the hit ahead, Mott running the floor and finishes. Look at big Paige Mott out running the break. Wrapping around between the second and third quarter here. Hartman on the left elbow, wide open, got it. Foul Brigham converts a three point play. She's been quiet all night as Northwestern nearly and does throw it away. Bad pass from Hartman. Marisa goes the other way and is blocked by Hartman. Open is Hartman on the right wing. Great find from Burton. And she got it. One of the hottest three-point shooters in the conference. With Chloe Bibby guarding her. It's a bit of a mismatch, and it's kicked out to the other side for Hartman, who knocks it down. And with about 10 to shoot, Northwestern has to trigger quickly. Here's Daly. Coming off the screen is Hartman, and she knocks it down for two. That was smooth for the Wildcats. Good ball movement. And we'll see what he rolls out defensively for this possession as Reese was able to track down the floating pass. And that's blocked away and deflected going the other way. That was much better defense that time for Northwestern on the interior. But here's Burton over to Brown. And now back to Hartman, the leading scorer for the Wildcats adds to her tally. Just doing an excellent job of sticking with her, forcing a tough pass. Daly, another jumper, got another one. Hartman swings to Burton, who's sitting on 499 career assists right now. Is this 500? No, as Daly misses, but Hartman comes in for the putback. Burton into the post. Shaw doesn't, see, doesn't like what she sees, so leaves it back out for Hartman. Hartman gets an open jumper off the screen and knocks it down. Get some action around the rim to try to exploit that difference. Hartman will try a three. Inside Shaw intercepts that one easily. Burton in transition. Now she'll bring it back out. Leaves it for Hartman, open corner three. Got another one! Burton, Green kind of collided with her own teammate there in Shaw. Gets back up, takes it on Sonata. Pass down, Hartman on the cut in and puts it in. Northwestern has done a pretty good job guarding these inbounds. They get the steal, out of timeouts, they got to push here. Hartman up ahead to Daly, got to get a shot quickly here. Down to six, Daly steps back for three and nails it. Off to Harden, her deep three on the way has missed everything again. That's two air balls for Cassidy Harden here in the first quarter. Cats coming back in transition, Burton in the corner to Hartman. Hartman drives, pulls up for a short jumper and hits. She hits one of two and the Cats lead it by three. Northwestern continues with full court pressure. Dumbia just throws the ball up to nobody. I have no idea where Rokia was throwing that ball, but it went right to a Wildcat player. Wildcats just controlling the boards here in the first half. Hartman gets it inside to Mott. Mott working against Harden, goes up with a short lefty, and she gets up and in. Nine of 24 from the field with five turnovers. Inside here is Shaw. Shaw in the corner. This is a three-pointer on the way by Hartman. It's good. Hartman with the triple, and Northwestern has stretched the lead to double digits here, and Purdue takes a timeout. Shaw was standing out top. Now she's going to roll down a little bit deeper at the top of the three-point three line. Satterwhite still with the dribble with eight to shoot. Here's Hartman. Hartman throws it inside. Shaw catches and scores. Replacing Waltman. Purdue inbounding. They get it into Cassidy Harden, who gets around Burton, splits the defense, and then had the ball stripped and stolen. Hartman coming back the other way against Brooke Moore. Hartman takes her all the way to the rack and lays it up and in. Katie Jones wants the ball on the bench side of the floor here. Now they get it over that way, and it's, there's its interception. Cross-court pass from Layden, intercepted by Hartman. Hartman goes up for the layup and scores. Trope cross to the near end for Satterwhite. Now Brown. Burton inside against that 2-3 zone, and now a mid-range jump shot. Rattles that one home. Malaya Hartman. Burton inbound to Hartman, driving in against Camden. Now out to Brown for three. That one good. Three-pointer there for Brown is good. She's able to get it, though. Has it stolen away. Burton. 
what she does so, so well. Steals, now finds a streaking Hartman, kisses it off the glass. What a play there by Burton. And Kapanis is just gonna drive in, call her own number, leaves it short, rebounded by Brown. Numbers for Northwestern. Brown in the open court to Hartman for three. That one good. Burton gonna chase after her. Higgins with the left, blows the layup, rebounded by Satterwhite. And now the Northwestern Wildcats with numbers. Three on two, cross court, Hartman for three. Got it! Satterwhite gets down on the floor and gets the ball. Now hands it off to Burton in transition. Hartman for three. Got it! Penn State on offense, down by five, needing a bucket bad, 73-68. Marisa left wide open, a defensive breakdown, and she thinks she gets fouled, but instead it's poked away, and diving on the floor to get the loose ball is Hartman. And trying to get around her, and her length proves too difficult, but Sissoko turns this one over, and now Hartman has a look, open look in the paint, she drains that jump shot, her second made deep shot of this one. Sarah Scalia, Feels the pressure defensively, turns that one over, not enough space to make the pass. Hartman goes coast to coast. They do not want Burton to get downhill. She gets around Hillman here though, drives through three, kicks to Hartman. Splash! And it's five nothing Northwestern in the early going. Burton holding it out against Danielle Roush. Five on the shot clock, Hartman rises and hits. A rare two point field goal for Leah Hartman. Veronica Burton starts with the ball. Her first scoreless first half of the season, but she had eight assists and two steals. Impacted the game in so many ways. As Hartman with the take, just blasts right on in. Juliet just couldn't get it high enough. People underestimate Courtney Shaw's vertical. He's had a few of those steals this year. Hartman for three. She's getting hot again. Meanwhile, a 6-0 run for Indiana over the last minute and a half. Satterwhite tries to end that, and she does. That's a triple, and it's her second of the ball game. First time since January the 5th. Indiana superstar post player. Satterwhite knocks down her fourth. That's a new career high for Lauren Satterwhite. You have to watch out for that soon, but I just think when you buy into it, that's when it can cause the most trouble. Kenzie on the bounce, stripped by Burton. Burton behind the back. Flips it to Hartman. That's a three. She has the ability to turn a busted play into a successful one. Flipping it to Hartman. Five-point lead for North. And it missed everything. Rebound, Shaw. And then inside to Hartman, making a tough shot over her back. Burton passes up a three, and Hartman knocks it down from the top of the key. And that was great effort for following the offensive board, but just kind of got lost uh, whenever she was trying to recover it. A steal for the backcourt burglar. Keeps it inbounds and dishes it off to Hartman, and that ends a three-and-a-half-minute scoring drop. Third opportunity secured by Hartman, and Daly pays it off with the rim run. Back in play at Satterwhite on the wing. The Shaw down low, getting into the paint, finding a streaking Leia Hartman, and she gets the runner. About 90 seconds ago in the third quarter, Melanie Daly's got the ball. Over to Hartman, jump pass to Walsh, muscling her way down low, left-handed layup off a beautiful spin move. Is good, and Northwestern leads by a left. Can hit the free throw, and Purdue looking to pick it up on the other end. Ellis denied by Shaw. Burton to Hartman. Gets it cleanly, and Northwestern up by 11 again, tying their largest lead of the night. Nebraska's first 20-win season since the 17-18 campaign of the regular season to determine what next week will look like. The kick out, the three goes down. That is the fourth three of the day for Northwestern, coming off Haley Weaver's hand. Therefore, Nebraska's been able to make the Cats pay on the perimeter. Quick three at the opposite end. That is the six minutes despite Burton not being on the floor for Nebraska. Dump it down low this time and leads to a bucket for Hartman. And it's forcing Northwestern's players to have to make decisions on where they're going to go out to on the perimeter. Satterwhite, little entry feed here leads to two points for Hartman. They played great against Indiana on Valentine's Day. And now against this Northwestern team. 
Northwestern going a little deeper into their bench. That was Anna Morris who drained the three. Here's some zone, a 3-2 look from Minnesota. Deep three is good. Hartman making this a one-point contest for the Wildcats. Sissoko trying to get a slip on that, didn't get it that time, trying to get it again. Scalia loses it, gets it back, cannot finish, and torn down off of the rim by Shaw. Crossing over, saved by Shaw. That'll leave it open for Hartman at the buzzer. Thriller style. And then the kick out right now here in Indy. Northwestern three for 22 from beyond the arc and intercepting the passes. Caitlin Clark slithering in the air. That falls short as Burton, who scored all of Northwestern's points, will also get an assist on the next basket. Moving on to the semifinals here in Indianapolis. Well, Leia Hartman finishes some against this Iowa zone that is clogging up the gaps, especially right there at the elbows. Satterwhite gonna kick it out. Hartman for a three, and something finally drops Northwestern. She's tried to work on it, but unfortunate to see her draw one there. The woman's pass was turned over. Northwestern has numbers at transition. Morris picks it up, finds Mott. They give Mott a whole lot of space out there when she gets the ball beyond the yard. Hartman lobs it inside her this time on the opposite block, and she gets the and one. All coming back together on the floor today. So some bragging rights out there on the floor. <laughs> yes. Wood has it at the free throw line, picks up her dribble, skips it over, and a look for Hartman, and she sticks it. A nice day, and then, of course, Hartman has... Decision from Coach McEwen to throw Leah Hartman back in there, especially with the way Jillian Brown shooting from the arc. Hartman answers the triple with one of her own. We got a lot of experience, got a lot of the veteran leadership on the squad. And they've got some talented players too. Hartman drives in the strong finish up two feet after she got stripped momentarily. Put the, puts the ball on the floor and finishes for the layup. Coming off the screen, Morris with a three and a chance for a four point play. The Salukis are giving up 48% from downtown, which yep. is a absurd number. Here is Hartman with the basketball sprinting all the way down the floor, coast to coast for the and one. What a play, using the speed, getting out. Opportunity for the and one. So you get another view of it there. Finishing through traffic, really nice play. Coming in cold off the bench. It's Northwestern's biggest rebounding margin in at least five years, if it, if it holds. As Hartman pulls and hits a three. Good to see for Leah Hartman. Yeah, the four field goals also coming from deep. So yeah, she leads Valpo in scoring at 11 points. Now here's a quick steal. That one will go from Hartman. Coach McEwen not really happy with that third quarter. Yeah, it definitely wasn't as clean as he would have liked. She's up against herself right now. It's it's a shame. Walsh trying to pose Morrow on the other side. Wants it, gets it, deep position. The hook goes. As she did last season. And just one point away from her third career 40 point game. Hartman with the catch and finish. Northwestern. Time out here would be smart. Wildcats need to gather themselves and take a refresh button. They have not had the second quarter. Oh, beautiful. And to that point, though. Final 2.45 to play here in Evanston. And, and for the most part, it has been all Ohio State. And you mentioned it earlier in the game, Nas. But they've beaten some really good teams by double digits. Megan talked about a moment ago. Freshman Sarah Williams loses it, and Northwestern's running. Hartman in the lane. And she scores. Hartman again will fire. Gets her own board. Hands it off to Shaw for two. Not sure how exactly that handoff was so clean. Packs of six points. They've all come from in the paint. Wood to Hartman. The three ball goes. And lowering that shoulder. But take a look at a little paint touch action. Sydney Wood, Leia Hartman, let it known on senior day. Hartman will fire again from deep and hit it. This one, but Leia Hartman making an impact. If Northwestern's going to get back into this one, they're going to need. Wood shutting him down and opening up shop. Hartman. Tied. 
look at this play by Northwestern. After the timeout, this is just what Joe McEwen said. Get the ball inside.